Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm Renee Marks, proud to bring you the top stories from Israel every Monday to Thursday right here on this platform. And I can't believe it's Thursday already, but uh, it's the end of another week. And before we get into the weekend, let's look at those headlines. And we'll start as a uh, has become our daily habit with looking at where Israel is as far as COVID-19 is concerned. Now, there has been a rise in the amount of COVID cases. In fact, today, the amount of people currently infected has reached over 4,000. And uh, let's take a look at those other important numbers. Since the start of the pandemic, 19,894 people have contracted COVID-19. There have been 303 fatalities and currently 4,092 people have tested positive. 39 of them are in serious condition with 32 needing ventilators and 15,499 people have made full recoveries. Yesterday uh, we spoke a little bit about how the finance minister and the health minister were at loggerheads about whether or not to open cultural places and uh, the train system and it looks like the finance minister has won so from next week cultural places and the trains will start running however the prime minister announced earlier that no more restrictions will be lifted until the infection rate comes down and areas that are hot zones have been designated restricted areas Three generals have tested positive and they are in quarantine as well as a worker at the Knesset. And uh, there has been an appeal put out that anybody who has come in contact with the Knesset worker since the 4th of June is to please enter quarantine. In other news, and this is quite amazing news because this is the first time that this has happened, the European Union has cut funding to an NGO called Badil. Badil is a pro-BDS NGO, an NGO that is known to be anti-Israel, and the EU have rescinded their funding of 6.5 million shekels, they say, because uh, Badil refused to sign a clause in the contract that would ensure that none of the money given would go to supporting any terror organizations. So it's a unique move, but really a one, uh, or a win rather, in the war against terror. And the good news keeps on coming. Uh, We've spoken a few times over the last week or so about uh, some of the measures. We spoke about Spain and other places that have been put um, in place to combat BDS, the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Movement. And yesterday, the BDS movement was dealt a blow from a very, very unlikely ally, Ireland, the Republic of Ireland. It's very unusual because the Irish are notoriously critical of Israel and and, um, uh, they've just been given a seat on the Security Council, so we're very curious to see what will happen there. But they have uh, tabled, or rather they have shelved, a law that would have seen um, anybody dealing with Israeli settlers, be it goods or services, uh, that would have resulted in that being criminalized that has been shelved and is not part of the major five-year foreign policy plan of the Irish government. In fact, uh, should the plan have gone forward, it would have seen anybody dealing with uh, Israeli businesses in the West Bank as receiving a fine of up to 250,000 euros or five years in prison. So uh, business is still on and uh, it's very important that business is done in the West Bank because not only does it help the economy, but also creates very, very important and much needed jobs for Palestinians. Those are your top stories to end the week with, but remember you can always check out our content online at www.lay of the land. The latest article up is uh, Dave Kaplan's article, an interview with Chaim Topol, the iconic Tevye from Fiddle on the Roof. Also up is uh, if you would like to receive our newsletter, We have a link to that. 
You can also contact us via the website if you would like to be a subscriber. Or if you miss your recordings of the Israel Brief, they're up there too. And while we're at it, check out our Facebook page. It's at Lottle Site. Give us a like, give us a follow. We're hoping to get to a thousand people pretty soon. So please help us uh, with that little mission. And also our YouTube family is growing. And for every YouTube subscriber that we get by clicking on the red uh, subscribe button, the more we are able to get Israel's narrative out to the world. So on that note, I wish you all a safe, a healthy, and a peaceful weekend. I'm Rony Marks, wishing you all Shabbat Shalom, and we'll chat again on Monday.